Hi guys, so it's Bianca. Welcome back to a new video. So today I'm in a, something a bit more casual because I'm actually moving rooms. So everything's in a bit of a mess right now, like all of my stuff. And also we're gonna be doing some DIY, so I just wanted to wear something casual and easy to move in. So yeah, so this DIY has been floating around in my mind for a while because you know, when you're on Pinterest and they recommend you so many things and then you eventually like find something you like and then you keep pressing that and that's all that's gonna be in your feed for a while. So one of those things for me was patchwork jeans. So I super loved the idea of it even from before, but before I only saw like um, just different types of denim, but I didn't really see like patchwork with different fabrics but then I saw these and oh my gosh I thought those are so pretty and then I had this sort of pair of jeans that I didn't know what to do with because I don't know I just felt that it lacked a little something so yeah so see it's cute because it's got stripes in it and I think that it would be the perfect canvas for something as creative as that so what I did was I went to the thrift store and I went to the cheapest part and then I tried to find prints that were um, what I liked, what I thought would suit it. So like a lot of florals and then so that's what I'm going to be using for today. And also I have some scrap fabrics left from other things from before. So we'll get into that and then I'd also like to do some sort of um, sketches on it if I don't know if that's going to look nice. So we're going to just lay it out and see how it looks like and yeah let's get started this is the current progress so i'm just cutting out strips of fabric from these and then look at this beautiful lace so i have this top that i don't really like anymore so what i did was i used a seam ripper to remove the lace of one of the sides so i have this and then I cut out like the flowers from here and I think it's great as a top layer and it's super pretty so these are also some of the other patches I might use if they look nice but yeah I'm super excited on how this is actually gonna happen so yeah So this is what it's currently looking like and I think this is gonna be the final thing. So I know it might not be everybody's cup of tea but I do love it and I am excited to sew it. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna iron every iron everything so that it's easier to hem and sew on. So I think I'm just gonna do like um, after I iron I'm gonna sew it and then just B6000 everything, you know, that kind of fabric glue before I hand stitch it so that it's easier and yeah. So hopefully that'll go well and yeah. Now I have these two pieces that I've ironed out and then I'm just gonna do that sort of corner hem thing. I don't even know. So this is my sewing machine. I mean this, this type, that stitch, oh no that that stitch yeah i'll just show you yeah so let's get hemming so this is what i meant by that so it's sort of an exposed type of stitch because i think it's gonna look nicer in the whole patchwork type of effect so this is why this is the sort of thing that I chose. So I'll just do the rest with this type of stitch. So now I have this look and this. This is a lot more messy because it was my first try. But yeah, so I'll just trim the edges of these or maybe it actually looks good that way and then put it onto the garment. So, so see, I have my B6000. So this is can be fabric glue. And then I'll glue this on, but also I'll sew it later, but just so it doesn't move anymore, it will be easier for me. So I think I should have started with that first, so, but even just the edges, so yeah, so let's just put that there and then...
basically that's what I'm gonna be doing with the rest of this so yeah I'm excited so these are my last two pieces before I finish I'm so happy so once again I just iron it and everything almost done so this is all stuck already so yeah oh my gosh it looks so nice and i'm excited to actually try it on so i'll just add the last two pieces and we're done almost done so I used a micron pen because they said it's waterproof and then I just did, did, did these additional touches to like this girl and then Laban which means fight in Filipino and then just accents here and there and XOXO, a she, a flower. So yeah, I don't know if it was the right decision but I think that it makes it more arts and craftsy which I like. And yeah, so I think I'm done. I'll just try it on and let's see what it looks like. I'm so excited. I also put on the patch, by the way, of Fashion Revolution. Um, I was gonna put, you know, the Sum Sum ones, but I think that um, it didn't fit the whole theme. So yeah, so I'll just stick with this for now. Okay, so I was done, but then I looked at the back and I felt bad that it was so blank. So just to put something in there, it doesn't even have pockets. I'm gonna make a pocket-sized version of this and stick it in here and hopefully it'll look cute. Though I don't know, maybe it's too small. We shall see. I did it and I put on a lace flower because I think it looked empty and yeah that's the back so I think it's super cute and simple and yeah. Hello! So two hours and quite a lot of sweat later, I finished it. So yeah, so I'm super happy with how it turned out. My mom, I showed it to my mom and she said it's quite out there. But I think that it's super nice. And I, but I totally get what she's saying. I think it's gonna be um, sort of a challenge for me, which I super like on how to style this. So I styled it with this shirt, which I think it would look really cool even just like not tucked in. So you just get a peek of the patches here and there. So I think that's super cute. But also you could also be more out there and style it like how I did with a sort of crop top sports bra type of thing, wherein these just shine as the star of the show. So it's definitely up to you. And I think it's a super fun thing to do with like scrap fabrics that you have and if you have like jeans that you don't wear anymore and you want to give them a new life then I think this is a great way to do it. I'll actually be trying out more Pinterest DIY soon. I already have some ready. You know when you start into something Pinterest just goes all the way so my next thing would be like hand painted stuff so I'm gonna be painting a pair of sneakers and then a bag so super happy and excited for that as well so if you want to see that video you can like this and subscribe for more sustainable fashion content such as upcycling DIY thrifting anything like that I'm all for it and yeah so and if you want to see how I actually style these um, things that I upcycle you could also follow me on Instagram at Bianca Gregorio so yeah and I hope you guys are doing well I hope you are safe and yeah it's been a tough time especially here in the Philippines if you guys have seen the news or anything like that so yeah I hope you guys are safe and are doing well as well as you can so yeah um, I love you so all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>